For the first time in 32 years, the Detroit Grand Prix is taking place at the streets of downtown Detroit. That's why husband and wife Jimmy and Vicky Guggen can't stop raving about it. It's unbelievable, everything that is put together here yeah. for one weekend. But for Ahmed and Tamina's kids, Omar and Aya, it was all about the need for speed. I like how the cars go fast. It's pretty awesome. It reminds me of F1 races in Dubai and Monaco and all of those places. It kind of gives the city a, a little bit of, uh, you know, status. Michigan driver Mark Miller is from Holland. He has been racing for 30 years and remembers attending the races at Belle Isle with his dad as a spectator and later as a racer. How special and unique is a Detroit track compared to tracks around the world or across even the states? Things that they do here that they don't do at other races are like the Free Fridays and all of the, the, the fan-inclusive things that some tracks don't do. It really brings people to Detroit, and street circuits, more than anything else, draw people that have never seen motorsports before. Last year at Belle Isle, the Detroit Grand Prix clocked over 95,000 people. Letty Azar says the event also generates over $45 million in total spending annually for the Metro Detroit area. We were very intentional in this track design and not to run it north of Jefferson. Our goal is that our 35,000 plus ticket goers and everybody coming down here for free viewing too, that they're walking by these businesses, they're dropping money in those businesses. Now the nine turn 1.7 mile circuit that takes drivers through various Detroit landmarks will continue to be memorable for both drivers and fans. What's your advice for fans, how they can make the most of it? Come and talk to the crew, come and talk to the drivers, uh, get in the car, sit in it. Like, we'll let you get in the car. Like, come talk to us and don't be afraid. Like, we'll, we'll give you stuff. So basically what I hear is you'll give us stuff. Is it okay if I take a car? You can sit in it. <laughs> I'm keeping the keys. <laughs> Now, Sunday, June 4th is the last day for the races. So, a couple of things to remember. There are tickets available. There are also free viewing spots. So, if you go to WXYZ.com, you can find all that information, including all the fan activations and road closures and places where you can park. Reporting from downtown Detroit, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News.